Who gave you your OBE? I was given mine by Prince Charles. Right, OK. Who did you get? Princess Anne. Oh, that's Division 2. <laughs> That is why you're not going to get a higher <laughs> honour. I mean, there are lots of reasons why you're not going to, but I think that kind of comment. I'm amazed I've still got mine. Ah, well. <laughs> um, yeah, so it was, it was great. And it, it, was a, it was a really nice day out, but it's quite... It, you know, they had to sit there for about three hours. And it's so a long day. Board, it's a yeah. long day. Um, and so did you go somewhere special afterwards? You went for lunch? Or you went I for went for lunch and I invited you, but you couldn't come. Well, I could have come. I just didn't want to, but... Did yeah. you... Uh... <laughs> well, I actually invited Simon Cowell and he said to me, do you think... I want to go and celebrate with you while you get an honour. I was actually really angry and I went, well, you might. Do you think I'd be pleased for you? Because he's very competitive. That's a strange thing. And he thing, thinks though. he should get a knighthood. And you, do you think there's a chance of that happening? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Not if I have anything to do with it, no. I don't know. I mean, maybe one day. I mean, who knows how they make these decisions? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Because you got one. But, um, <laughs> but I don't know. I mean, you know, I suppose if enough people thought you should get one, maybe. Yeah. I don't yeah, know. Could start but it would be annoying if he was Sir Simon Cowell because the thing, OB is nice, but if someone's a Sir or a Dame, you have to call them that. Yes. So it's a bit like it's heralding their arrival. Yeah, ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah. Sir Simon Cowell. Yeah. So I hope and pray that he never gets young. Yeah. <laughs> you have helped ensure the popularity of Britain's Got Talent. Well, I think that's kind of you say. absolutely have, there's no doubt about it. And uh, you're doing a new series, I guess you start next year? Yes, we start as soon as Simon's back from being on the boat with... Uh, Sunita and uh, <laughs> all his exes. I once said to him, I said, did you have a good holiday? He went, oh. I said, well, you were on holiday with all your ex-girlfriends and your new partner. Yeah, oh, nightmare. <laughs> well, why did you invite them? I mean, this doesn't go down that well, does it? Oh, by the way, who else is coming? I thought I'd invite all these other women I slept with in the last 10 years. I mean, this is not, not a good idea, is it, for a holiday? But you're quite. I know you're quite. You're obviously fond of him, didn't mm. you? Didn't you get your mother to bake him a cake? Is that what yes. Well, nice he to do? said. I was talking to my mum, and she was coming to the show the next day, and he said, "Get your mum to to bake me a Victoria sponge cake," and then she brought it in, and he tasted it, and went, mm. "Bit dry." <laughs> my mum was really quite crushed, but he couldn't. He couldn't help. Just actually, you know, judging it, he couldn't <laughs> help being negative about it. I mean, he's actually the same in bed. <laughs> A bit too much foreplay for my liking. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, that's all he can do, isn't it? I mean, he just can judge. So, if he's presented with a cake, a homemade cake by my mum, he can't help but judge it. Or he could try being a human being and say, thank you, that was lovely. Um, what a lot no. of effort you put into this. Well, he's not, as you well know, he's not a human being. <laughs>